Hi everyone. So we're going to get right into the reading. Whatever the cards want to say. Keep in mind I do channel multiple energy groups on here so this may or may not be for you. Only take it if it resonates. But let's see what the current storyline is. Got the Empress, the Moon, the Ace of Wands, someone, what is, hold on a second, what's being hidden with the moon, what is it that's being hidden here? Bear with me, guys. Okay, I'm getting all these cards that are about sexuality, honestly, because I'm seeing the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands can be very phallic. Knight of Wands, that can be someone that's in and out. It can also talk about sexuality as well because it's like the Knights are very passionate and the Knight of Wands is very passionate in and out. So it can be someone who's kind of like a fuck boy or fuck girl, basically. Um, I'm honestly feeling like a pregnancy. Somebody, whoever this is for, somebody is hiding a pregnancy here. Or you could be pregnant and maybe you're feeling like you're pregnant and you, again, full disclaimer though, I cannot give health advice. Um, this is not a substitute for professional advice. If you think you're pregnant, go take a pregnancy test. Like there's, I'm not responsible for anything you do or do not do as a result of these readings. But yeah, whoever this is for, somebody is hiding a pregnancy. This could also be a warning for a man that somebody might be trying to get pregnant to trap them. So if you're having sex with someone and this person's very controlling, very manipulative. Because uh, we did just do a, a reading on an abusive woman recently that was like, what, like a day or two ago, something like that, 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 that came out. And so this could also be that same storyline where this woman might be trying to get herself pregnant to keep a man tied down. Uh, or this could be, take it as it resonates, or this could be you, maybe you're pregnant. Or it's like your person is, is dealing with this. Take it, yeah, take it how it fits. Because the Empress too is like the mother of the deck. So we have multiple cards here talking about sexuality and something being hidden. So yeah, I'm basically getting a hidden pregnancy here. Yeah, be careful if you're if you're a man and you're with an abusive woman uh be careful about having sex like really be careful sexually right now because if she's lost all control maybe this woman because in that last reading we were getting the queen of pentacles again and i was picking up that the, that you, that this man was trying to get away from this abusive woman and he was trying to kind of ghost her and and sneak off quietly uh he was trying to you know <laughs> He was trying to make it easy for everyone involved. He might have thought that it would have hurt her less. And I feel like she knows, this Queen of Pentacles knows more than she lets on, though. Because I was getting that she was going to have someone in a, a social circle, like a friend group or a family member. She was going to do some digging and she was going to find out that this man is leaving her to be with another woman. So it could be one of those things where maybe she's already found out and so she's just, she's hiding this information and she's trying to find another way to control him because she can kind of energetically sense that she's losing control over him. So if this, if you're this man and you're having sex with this woman, you really need to be smart because she might, um, she might be lying about her birth control. She might be saying that she's, you know, that she's on birth control, but you, you need to, you might need to do some digging if you feel like this is for you because she might not actually be taking her birth control. Or maybe she did get pregnant and she told you that she was going to go have an abortion and then like she lied about it though. Like she ended up not going through with the abortion and she's just, I don't know what, what her plan is. Like obviously at some point you're going to realize she's pregnant, but there's something off here for whoever this is for. Tell me more about this situation. Yeah, honestly... Okay, I just want to say too, please don't have a baby just because your relationship is failing. Like, I, I swear, I feel like couples do this sometimes where it's like, 
their relationship isn't going well, they're not happy, but they, they're codependent, they don't want to let go of each other. So they make some grand drastic gesture, like they get married or they move in together or they have a baby because they think that's going to fix their relationship. And it's not. It, it's going to lead to heartbreak. Because for some, it could even be both of you. For some, it could be this man and this woman. Maybe maybe she's trying to get pregnant to trap him. But maybe maybe it's like one of those situations where she doesn't even really want kids. But she knows that she's losing him. And she just can't imagine a life without him. And maybe, maybe he wants kids. And so she's going to try to, uh, you know... Like she's gonna try to keep him that way. She's gonna say like, well, what if we, what if we had kids together? What if we, you know what I mean? Like, like I would make a great mother. Like, what if she's like trying to appeal to him? Um, Cause yeah, it could be for both of them. So yeah, please, please don't have a baby thinking that's gonna fix your relationship. It's honestly not. You're gonna, you, you guys are gonna make that kid miserable. You're, you're honestly, if, if, if two people are not deeply in love and deeply committed to each other. And if two people, if one person doesn't really want kids or is on the fence about kids, like, please do not have kids. Like, do not, have, kids are such, I mean, I don't have kids, so I can't really speak on it too much. I cannot imagine how stressful kids are, though. You know, I know people that do have kids. It's like, I cannot imagine just what you have to go through raising a child. It's just, it's so much stress. I don't think people realize just what they're, like, just how much stress that is. It's like, that's, that's the rest of your life that's kind of just ruined, honestly, if you're not wanting kids, at least. Like, it's not like getting a dog or a cat. Like, this is, this, like, changes your entire life. So someone needs to kind of recognize that here because it's like, it could be, it's either one person or two people that are thinking maybe having a baby will fix the relationship. It'll give them something to focus on. But honestly, that baby is going to grow up miserable. That, that baby is not going to be happy. You cannot have kids with someone who does not want kids. It's not, I don't think you should even have kids if you're just on the fence about it or if you're just, you know, kind of want them, but you're not sure. I think someone needs to like want kids more than anything in the world to be able to really handle the stress that comes with having a kid and actually raise that child properly. In today's world, it's just, it, it's not, that, that's easier said than done, you know? So, so yeah, I think that that's her mentality. Like a child will fix this. A child will fix what's broken here, but it's going to lead to heartbreak. It's going to lead to heartbreak for all three of you, not just in the relationship. Like the relationship is still, the, the fights are going to be there. The fights are honestly probably going to get worse if you guys have a kid together because they're going to have that stress. You're going to be woken up in the middle of the night, having to change diapers, feeding, all of that. Like, and this, this woman does not handle stress well. She doesn't know what she's in for. Like, I feel like she's going to get, I, I feel, almost feel like she might even, um, you know, like those, what is it called? Is it like postpartum depression or whatever it is? Like those women that kind of just go crazy after they, they give birth. Like they just like hate the child and they just like, they like go into like a psychosis almost. I almost feel like that could happen with her as well. Um, cause she's not really mentally stable. She's not stable enough to be having a child. I feel like she's going to pass down some kind of family curse, like a generational curse or just mental illness. Like there's something she's going to pass to this child that's going to set it up for heartbreak and failure in the future as it gets older too. So, so yeah, please don't have kids if you're not sure about it or if you're, you know, it, it just, just don't do it. If, if you're not a hundred percent passionate and, and fully invested, just don't do it. And don't, even if you are, don't do it with someone who's on the fence about it. You need someone who's just as invested as you are. You can't really convince someone to want to have kids. You know what I mean? It's something that people either, either want more than anything in the world or they don't want it. it. It's not something that you can kind of talk someone into, you know, it's not like getting a, a pet rabbit or something, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, it's going to be heartbreak for all three people involved is honestly what I'm seeing. Their relationship is actually going to get worse, not better. There's going to be more stress and this child's not going to grow up well. I'm, I'm feeling like the child is going to grow up in an abusive. I feel like the father would end up being abusive, honestly, if you're this man. And I'm not saying that you're a bad person. I'm not saying that you're abusive now. But I almost feel like if this woman gets pregnant and if you if this abusive woman gets pregnant and if you stay with her. I feel like you would turn abusive down the road. It might be 10 years down the road, you know, cause it's like evil, 
sometimes evil isn't uh, born. Sometimes it's just made, you know, it's, it's evil comes in so many different forms. And I feel like this man, even if he's a good man now, I feel like he would reach his breaking point dealing with the baby that he didn't want, dealing with this woman, or even if he does want the baby, it's like having to raise it with someone like this, all of it. I, I think that it would build up and I think eventually he would become kind of toxic himself. So this baby would grow up being attracted to the same type of, of, uh, people that, you know, it's, it's parents were basically that they, they would keep, they would re repeat the cycle is what I'm getting that. So, so yeah, I, I, I wouldn't let this, I, I would be mindful of this. I would be really mindful if you feel like this is for you, honestly, I know it's, I know it can be, I know it can be hard to not have sex, especially if you're like with someone, it, it's really easy to get caught up. But if you feel like this might be your person that she might be trying to get pregnant, like, you know, I, I really would recommend just not having sex. Just come up with an excuse or do, do some digging, do what you need to do, get out of the situation. Cause like I said, there's, there's so much heartbreak. There's like, this is like generations of heartbreak. This is you know, passing this trauma on to your kids and then they pass it on to their kids and they pass it on to their kids. It's like this, eh, there's like this crossroads that you're at. It's like this, this is, this isn't just impacting your lives. It's impacting like, it could be like dozens of lives. You know what I mean? Cause it's like the, the, the curse or the traumas, it's like they continue generation after generation after generation. And you need to be strong and put up that block and not let this continue. This woman should not be having kids. This woman is not fit Whoever this woman is, she's she's not fit to be a mother. She cannot, she can't handle the stress already. Just in her daily life, she cannot handle stress. There's not a chance in hell she can handle the stress of having a child. Honestly, like you know, don't just just don't just don't do it. Just think about think about the future. Don't get caught up in the moment. Yeah, because you would go from being a king of cups to being a king of swords. If you're this man dealing with this abusive woman, it's like you'll, you're going to go from being a, um, it's like emotional and loving and gentle and you try to see the good in everyone. But eventually, and again, it might be a decade down the road, but it's like the choices you make right now, it could even just be having sex like tonight, tomorrow night. It could be like a really simple choice that's going to determine, again, generation after generation like not just your lives but the lives of others as well like you you really need to be strong right now and and not uh you know think with your other head okay <laughs> um because yeah I, could, I see that this man could go from being a king of cups being very understanding and, and loving to being a king of swords he, you could become a completely different person and you're honestly, it's kind of, I know this isn't probably what you want to hear, but it's honestly a blessing that you're even being given this choice. Like you have the chance to change your life right now. You're at this major crossroads where you can get out of this. It might not be easy. There might be drama with this woman, but you can get out of this and you can have a better life and you can save not only this potential child that could come to earth, but also their children and, and future generations as well. Like there's so much, I know it's a lot of pressure, but there's so much that's depending on this man right now and whatever decisions he makes next. And I know it's intense, but it's kind of a blessing in the sense because it's like, I'm sure there's so many men out there that become a king of swords. Like they get, they get screwed over by a woman like this or by multiple women like this or men, you know, could be, could be a gay relationship as well. What, you know, whoever it's for, but it's, it's like, I'm sure there's plenty of men who are a king of swords right now. Like they are bitter and cold and angry and violent and they've probably forgotten this king of cups side of themselves. They've probably already like detached from this side and it's very hard for them to get back there. You're, you know, this reading is like a blessing in a way because you actually have a choice. You're actually like once you're already here, yeah, you can get back eventually, but it's a hard road. You know, you're you're it's it's a blessing in a way because it's like if this man that's watching this, it's like you already are the king of cups. You already are. You still are like you're probably getting fed up. You're probably tired of people like this. Um, so there's a little bit of bitterness but I mean, you're still a king of cups. You're still understanding and forgiving and honest. Um, so you have the chance to, to really make the right choices so that you don't go down that path of turning into this cold, bitter, angry, possibly violent king of swords. You know, what you do next is really going to determine your pretty much your entire life, pretty much your future. 
there's like a major decision coming up. So yeah, I would, if this is for you, really, really honestly, just, just keep it in your pants right now. Honestly, I don't know how else to say it, but on, honestly, yeah, there's, there's so much writing on this. You need to get away from this woman. And I honestly, I feel, because I keep getting like the postpartum depression too, you know, because this woman is very unstable. She can't really, I feel like she lashes out. She is very angry. She can't handle stress well. She's very controlling. So I honestly feel like she might be like that type of like, you know, you, you see those stories on the news, right? Like, or if not, I don't want to say that she would do anything necessarily. I can't say for sure that she wouldn't, but I feel like at least it's like, that child would be abused. Let me just say it that way. You you can't, if you bring this child into this world with her, you, you can't protect the child. You can't, there, you can't protect the child from her if you're having this child with her. She will forever use that child against you. So you need to be smart here. You really need to be smart and move things from rough waters to calmer waters. Yeah, because you do have, you need to make a new start somewhere else. You might even need to change locations. Like if this woman is that kind of psycho that she's just like stalking you, you might need to start a new life. You might actually need to like move out of state. You might need to move kind of far away. Your wishes might be fulfilled somewhere else, somewhere far away. Um, I'm hearing, I don't know why I'm hearing like Florida or something. I'm hearing like a, it's like another state. It's like there's somewhere where you need to go. Uh, I don't think I even, do I even, where, where is, I, know, I don't usually get states. I don't know who that would be for. I'm hearing Florida, I'm hearing Arizona, I'm hearing, <laughs> I'm seeing, I don't know. I'm seeing, cause I'm, I'm living in California and like I'm being shown a map and it's like not California, but I'm seeing like, it's like a nearby state, like maybe up into the right a little bit. I don't know where that would, I just don't know what state it would be. Is it like, is it like Idaho maybe? I don't know. It's like, up, it's up there and that it's, it, <laughs> Western Hemisphere somewhere. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, I heard Florida, Florida, Arizona. Nebraska. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know who this is for, honestly. I just, I'm, I'm just like, I'm laughing because I don't usually get state names, but that's for someone out there. It's probably somewhere that you feel kind of drawn to as well. Like you feel drawn and it's, I don't even think it's necessarily about like the state itself. It's almost like you just, you have a new start somewhere else if you're brave enough to take it, but you might need to really just get out of here and just start over. And don't tell people your travel plans because she's going to try to block it. She's going to try to block it. She's going to try to do whatever she can to stop you from moving away. So this is this is one of those situations where it's like you just leave. Like you just leave. It's like, what is that? Like that Tracy. I always hear that, that lyric from that Tracy Chapman song where she says, we've got to make a decision, either live tonight or either leave tonight or live and die this way. And so you're kind of at that crossroads. You you make that decision. You either leave tonight or you live and die this way. Um, it's kind of, I know it's a lot of pressure, but it, it's like one of those situations where if you're with an abuser, you need to just go. Don't even tell mutual friends where you're at because she is going to try to do digging. She's going to ask friends. She's going to ask family members. She's going to try to get to you any way that she can. And so it doesn't mean that you have to stop talking to your friends or family members necessarily. I mean, for some you might, but just don't, you don't need to tell them where you're going. You don't need to tell everyone everything. You can just simply say like, hey, I was with an abusive woman. I have to get out of here. I can't tell you where I'm going, but I'm, I'm safe. You know, I'm okay. I had to leave though. And if people don't have respect for your boundaries, if they try to push, they try to get information, you can block them out then. You know what I mean? Like you don't need to give people details. Don't be naive. Don't be overly trusting here. Because like I said, she's going to do digging. She's going to try to find out where you're at. Yeah, someone needs to be smart here. Yeah, because it's going to be like a tower moment for her when she finds out that you're just... When she finds out you're done, yeah, it's going to be... She's going to try to manipulate the people closest to you, and that's why you really need to be logical and not give them too much. Don't, don't put them in a position... Um, 
I mean, put them in a position where you, where they don't have to lie. You know what I mean? Put them in a position where they genuinely don't know. If she goes to your mother, I'm hearing for some she's going to go to your mom. But if she goes to your mother, or your father, or your siblings, your your best friend, your, you know, people, if you guys have the same friend group, if she goes to them, put them in a position where they don't have to lie. Put them in a position where they genuinely do not know what you're doing. They don't know who you're with. They don't know where you moved to. You know what I mean? Like tell tell them, you know, that way they can this mutual friend or family member can just tell her like, hey, I, I know as much as you do. I don't I don't know where he went either. I don't I don't know what state he moved to. I don't know if he got back with his ex or not. I don't know what's going on. You know, like be be careful. But yeah, just get just get out of there. Honestly, just get out of there and don't. Yeah, don't look back. I hope this helps someone. I'm going to put this out there. Thank you guys for watching.